Well, hello, Sagittarius. Aditi here with Lodestone Productions. Okay, good. I'm all hooked up. Aditi here with Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. So, we're going to do a general reading for the month of December. Bear in mind that spirit does not, is not bound to our time and space continuum. Therefore, timing may or may not line up with what you believe it should be. Um, I just ruined the call. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I did not ruin the cards. Okay. I thought I was going to start all over. Okay. <sighs> Spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. Therefore, the timing may be fluid. Also, there is no gender in spirit, so when I say he or she, I am referring to the masculine and feminine energetic signatures, not the body parts. Okay. Um, also, this is a general read, so not everything is going to resonate with everyone. If this does resonate, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the channel. If this does not resonate, Still like the video, share the video, and also check your other placements. All right, let's see how we're looking here. What information, spirit angels, holy guides, uh, what information do you have for the sun sign of Sagittarius? Sun sign of Sagittarius. Okay, let's see. So we've got the Death card, the Emperor, and the Lovers, the Hermit, the Eight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune, as well as the Hierophant, the Queen of Cups, and the Two of Cups. So, looks to me, hmm, okay, so... The Death card, the Emperor, and the Lovers. The Death card is an ending and or new beginnings. The Emperor is about having control over a thing. And then the Lovers is a card of choice. So what I'm getting from this is whatever control issues you had are having that are getting in the way of you enjoying the quality of your life it's time to stop it's time to it's like you're moving away from those control issues and moving into something that is more unified as denoted by the lovers so with the lovers card yes this is a card of choice it's a card of choosing to unify your head and your heart space um, but if you think about in the sense of like romantic love when people are like so intertwined that you don't know where one ends and the other begins. Um, this is, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's making that choice to be true to all sides of you, not, not just the side that you want to show. I got it all together. I got it all together. And with the Hermit card, the Eight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune, like you are really gone in and looked at this. You have really just kind of like cut the world out and took, you cut the world out with the Hermit card and took a long, hard look at how you're going to line yourself up 
moving forward because whatever was happening in this emperor energy this 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 way of thinking has gone gone stale right so you're looking at how can you be on the right side of this abundance that is coming your way and with the hierophant the hierophant talks about long-standing systems um, it talks about like religion or the law or uh, large regulating entities which goes which is really really close to the emperor but it's it's about this is the way that we do it we do it this way because this is the way that it's done that's the the hierophant energy and then you've got the queen of cups and it's about using this abundance of energy and being able to work with it in a manner that is nurturing okay it's not about it's it's about nurturing yourself really nurturing yourself i'm not talking about just doing the things that kind of feel good right now because they feel good right now but you're thinking long term right you're it's it's not about like right here and right now and with the two of cups that's like the creative spark into emotional fulfillment very very closely related to the lovers same so let's go ahead and clarify the death the emperor and the lovers what more information do you have for sagittarius regarding the death the emperor and the lovers card thank you the death the emperor and the lovers card for sagittarius Four Swords, King of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. So the Four of Swords is usually the four. Of, the Four of Swords is like a, a card of rest. It's like a pause. It's a pause after heartbreak. It's looking at the lessons that have come after the Three of Swords and really just taking a minute to kind of rest and breathe, right? And then the King of Swords is the, the father of truth. That's a good word. He's the father of truth. Now, is he kind? No, but he's honest. When we have the king of swords in the upright or really just looking at just the facts um the same way that the hierophant is like well we do it this way because we do it this way the king of swords is very much that well is it true is it verifiable right and then we've got the nine of pentacles which is the i'm doing well this is uh this is the i've got it i can do it by myself I don't need anyone else to supply me with what it is that I need. So, I'm gonna stop, take a break, look at what's really real as it pertains to my autonomy and what I'm gonna do going forward. So we're going to clarify the Hermit, the Eight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Thank you. The Hermit, the Eight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Oops, 
One more, one more. The Hermit, the Eight of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Four of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Two of Wands. So, the Four of Cups um, in this one, it's called the Flood. What I see is an outpouring of emotion. And when you have a lot of feelings, you kind of start to become numb to it. And with that, you wind up missing, you wind up missing the gift that Spirit has for you. Typically with the Four of Cups, there's usually something along the artwork of there's a person sitting on the tree and there are three cups that are empty and the person is looking just kind of bored, not really worried about it. And there's one cup that's being handed to them and that one cup that be, is being handed is being handed by spirit. So while we're looking at this flood here, when something is flooded, the, the, when you're, you're overwhelmed with something, right? Um, you would miss, when you're overwhelmed, you wind up missing a key component that you need to give you peace, right? You might find it once you stop the water from coming in and start all the cleaning up and whatnot, but the, or even with that, like the flood lets you know, like say like you know, you've got a house, right? And your water heater breaks and it floods everything. Now, yeah, it's sad that your water heater breaks, but we also know it really doesn't give much notice when it does. It just, right? The gift in that is knowing that once you replace that water heater, you're not going to have to worry about it for a while. Yeah. And the little notice that it gives is usually the water temperature just changes out of nowhere and then you've got the sign of rain in your house yay ask me how i know okay and then we've got the three of cups the stream of love this is a celebratory card right this is coming together hanging out with friends this is being able to this is taking time to look at what's good, what's going well, right? And truly celebrating that, okay? And then you've got the Two of Wands, which is about making a choice in a direction, like choosing to move in a direction. So with the hermit the eight of wands and the wheel of fortune it's like don't remember to celebrate the fact that you're moving forward remember remember to celebrate the fact that you're moving forward And with the Hierophant, the Queen of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Let's take a look at that. Got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Strength card. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Strength card. So the Ace of Pentacles is the opportunity for new abundance to come into your life. But like with any Ace, it has to be accepted and cultivated in order for it to actually take hold and take flight, right? And then we've got the Ten of Wands, which is being overburdened, carrying a heavy load, like backbreaking stuff, and 
coming to the end of your rope with with that type of energy and then the strength card is about balancing brute force and finesse it's about active versus passive potential versus kinetic it's about holding and towing that line and keeping it steady so that you can tame the feral with softness. Does that make sense? So you're going to have a new opportunity which comes at the end of some backbreaking work if you can remember to temper your strength and harness it in such a manner that it works for you and not against you. So, any final words for Sagittarius? Any final pieces of advice? The Empress, the Five of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. Hmm. The Empress. Oh, excuse me. The Empress, the Five of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. You can literally... This is about being receptive is about being receptive to being receptive to the good that is coming into your life being receptive to the messages that spirit has for you um, paying attention to where you are fighting and how you don't have to clamor and scratch and fight and hold on to things because when you fight and clamor for things in this Empress energy it winds up cheapening what you're doing because you have potential not only for new financial gain, but also for emotional fulfillment here. So, the Empress. Be receptive to the messages that Spirit has for you. Being mindful of how you are fighting and clawing for things. Because if you see with the Five of Swords, all of these swords are broken and bloody and beaten up like it's, it's overused, which is why when you're clamoring and scratching for things to stay under your control, you wind up undermining your own authority. You wind up with a fistful of empty victories. And that you have the potential for emotional fulfillment if you can remember to receive as opposed to claw for. Ooh, ooh, thank you, Spirit. All right, Sagittarius, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Uh, let me know in the comments if any of this resonated with you. Again, um, check your moon signs, check your other placements, and see if there are messages for you there. 
um, if this is where I let you go, that's great. In the meantime, be good to yourselves and be good to one another, and I will see you all next time. Bye, Sagittarius.